Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to First Light Reflections, your weekday guide to self-discovery and empowerment, where each sunrise brings you and I a new chance to reflect, reset, and create the best version of ourselves. Amen. Now, family, you didn't think I was going to leave you without a lesson this morning. Come on now. Every good teacher leaves a lesson with the substitute, right? So the substitute is this pre-recorded video, but a lesson for you. So also let's do things decent and in order. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time to be able to still come together. Even though this is pre-recorded, your word still remains the same. Your word can still have the same impact in each of our lives. We ask that you tabernacle individually with each one of us as we go through this lesson today or whether this is down the road in the replay, Father God. We thank you and we ask that you be glorified. We pray that you're glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, family, let's get to it. What are we talking about today? We are looking at waking up with purpose, not the kind of purpose that gets you a bestseller or a mansion, but the kind that gets you out of bed when the world feels heavy. And we know sometimes the weight of the world can feel like it's just bearing down on our shoulders. This morning, I'm talking about the Ephesians chapter two, verse 10 kind of purpose. What purpose is that you say? Let's look at it for we are his workmanship, his own master work, a work of art created in Christ Jesus, reborn from above, spiritually transformed, renewed, ready to be used for good works, which God prepared for us beforehand, taking paths, which he set so that we would walk in them, living the good life, which he prearranged and made ready for us. Powerful, powerful promise in God's word. He says prearranged and made ready for us. So let's break this down. God says, you're his masterpiece, his work of art. He has a path that's laid out for you. Good works he prepared in advance, family. This isn't just a quote for it to go over and paste on Facebook or to paste on Instagram. This isn't just a, a, a feel good quote, right? This is serious promises from God. It's a wake up call, literally a wake up call. God didn't just create you to take up space. He crafted you with his own hands for something specific, something unique, something that only you can do. But here's the thing. Purpose isn't always glamorous. Sometimes it's dragging yourself out of bed, even when you're bone tired. Sometimes purpose is being kind to that neighbor who never seems to have a good word to say to anyone or about anyone. Sometimes it's just getting out of bed. When the weight of the world feels like it's crashing down and bearing down on our shoulders, we often think that purpose is about doing big things, right? But what if it's about doing small things with big love? What if it's about bringing a little bit of heaven to earth in every interaction that you and I have with others? Amen. Let's look at it. When we wake up in the morning, we have two choices, family, two choices. We can hit the snooze button and we can roll over and say, nah, God, let someone else handle your business today. Or we can sit up, plant our feet firmly on the floor and say, all right, Lord, what are we doing today? And let me tell you, family, choosing that second option isn't always easy. Some days it feels like climbing a mountain just to get ourselves out of bed. Amen. Am I the only one? If I'm, hey, if I'm not the only one down in the comments, say, I hear you. I understand. Me too. 
But that's where our faith comes in, family. That's where you have to remind yourself that you're just not waking up for you. You're waking up for a God who thought you were worth dying for. Think about that. Now, I know some of you are thinking, but Tora, I I, I don't feel purposeful. I don't feel special, right? Listen, your feelings are not facts. Your purpose isn't based on how you feel when you look in the mirror. It's based on who God says you are. And what does he say? Who does God say that you are? He says you are his workmanship his masterpiece, his magnum opus, right? You're not some assembly line product. You're a handcrafted, one of a kind creation. And the creator of the universe thinks that you're worth keeping around. Come on now, put an amen in the comments for that family. But here's the kicker. Purpose isn't just about us. It's about the people that are around us. It's about how we can be a blessing to others, how we can show love to others, how we can bring hope to the hopeless. Because here's the truth. You may just be the only Bible that some people ever read. Your actions your words, your attitude, that might be the only glimpse of Jesus that some people ever see. Amen. So when you wake up with purpose, you're not just changing your life, but you're also changing the world that's around you. Think about that family. That's a powerful thought. Now, I know some of you are saying, well, Tor, I don't know what my purpose is, right? Let me tell you something. Listen, (laughs) your purpose is isn't always some grand vision. Sometimes it's just as simple as loving God and loving people. Sometimes it's about being faithful in the small things. Because here's the thing, God isn't looking for perfection. God is looking for availability. He's looking for the people who are willing to say, here I am, Lord, use me. And if you remember what passage, who, what character in the Bible made this statement, if you know, put it down in the comments that said, here I am, Lord, send me. That's what we have to be willing to say each and every day. And when you make yourself available, that's when you start to see purpose begin to unfold. Amen. So tomorrow morning, family, when that alarm goes off, remember, You're just not waking up for another day. You're waking up to what? A divine appointment. You're waking up for a purpose that only you can fulfill. A purpose that God handcrafted and made just for you. Amen. So don't let the enemy convince you and tell you that you're insignificant. Don't let the world tell you that your life does not matter. You have a purpose, family. Listen to me. You have a purpose. Do not listen to the whispers and the fears that Satan likes to come and whisper in our ears. It's time to start living out your purpose. So I challenge you, wake up tomorrow with intention. Wake up with expectation, right? Knowing that because God cannot lie, his word, his promises, right? He's a God that cannot lie. And because of that, you wake up with expectation that he's going to fulfill those promises. There won't be anything no one can do or say to convince you otherwise, right? Because what does it say, family? What does it say? What does it say? Facts. Right? Nothing but facts and promises from God in the rule book. So wake up, ready to go and do whatever it is that God is calling you to do. When we align our daily actions with God's purpose for our lives, that's when we start to see miracles happen, family. Remember, you're not just surviving you're thriving. You're not just existing. You're living in every breath that you take is an opportunity to fulfill God's purpose that he has for you. Amen. So family, let's begin to wake up with purpose. Let's wake up and live with intention and let's show the world what it looks like, exactly what it looks like when God's people start walking in their divine calling. And now that we've explored 
waking up with purpose. You know what time it is. Come on. You didn't think I was going to leave you without it, right? Just because I'm on a break this week. Let's test our understanding to help reinforce the key takeaways and ensure that we grasp the importance of valuing ourselves just as God does. Amen. So bright, it's the first light reflections quiz time. Toronado leading the way with God's wisdom. Let's start the quiz and seize the day. Let's go. All right, fam, you ready? You ready? Waking up with purpose. That's what we're looking at. We're doing it just the same. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right, here we go. According to Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10, and put your answers down in the comments and don't cheat now and, and fast forward ahead. Come on, be honest. Hey, you know, God is watching. Emmanuel, God with us. He's sitting right next to you watching. So put your answers down in the comments. According to Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10, in the Amplified Version, we are A, random creations. B, God's workmanship, his work, uh, his masterpiece. C, self-made individuals. Or D, products of chance. What say you, family? A, B, C, or D. What say you? Did you put it in? All right, let's see. It is B, God's workmanship, his masterpiece. All right, how'd you do, fam? How did you do? Let me get it over here. How did you do? You get you getting applause in there? All right, I know you did well. All right, next question. Our lesson suggested that when you wake up, you should A, hit the snooze button and sleep more. B, ask God what he wants you to do today. C, focus only on your own needs or D, Wait for a grand vision to appear. What do you say, family? Which one? What do you say? A, B, C, R, D. I'll wait. I'll give you some time. I'll give you some time to put it in the comments. All right? Let's see. It is B, family. Ask God what he wants you to do today. Lord, here I am. Send me. What do you want me to do today? All right? Your purpose is based on A, how you feel when you look in the mirror, B, your accomplishments and successes, C, who God says you are, D, what others think of you. What do you say, family? Is it A, B, C, or D? What do you say? Do, 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 do. I'm going to wait and give it a second. Let's see. It is C, family, who God says you are. That is what your purpose is based on, not what the world says, not what he, she, them, they, it, whatever pronoun you want to use. It is not about what they say. It is about who God says that you are. Amen. All right. God is looking for A, perfection, B, availability, C, grand visions, or D, exceptional talent. What do you say, family? Which one? Which one? Is it A, B, C, or D? I'll wait and give it a few minutes. What do you say? A, B, C, or D? All right, let's see. B, availability. God is looking for availability. Here I am, Lord. Send me. All right, family. Waking up with purpose means you'll never face challenges. B, you're changing only your own life. C, you're waking up to a divine appointment. D, you should so focus solely on big achievements. What do you say? A, B, C, or D? What do you say? A, don't cheat, don't cheat, don't skip ahead. Which one is it? A, B, C, or D? Hmm. It is C, family. You're waking up to a divine appointment each and every morning. Man, did you guys enjoy that? I mean, I know some of you thought, man, I'm sleeping in, uh, no class. <laughs> surprise, surprise. So I hope you are up watching this as it premieres. As we wrap up, I want to leave you with this. You're not here by accident and your life isn't some random sequence of events. God has you here right now for a purpose that only you can fulfill. 
Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10 tells us that we are his workmanship, crafted, designed, and loved by the creator of the universe. That's not just a title, family. That is is a calling. So as you go about your day, don't just move through it aimlessly. Ask God, what do you have for me today? So as we move about family, remember asking, how can I walk in the good works that you have prepared for me? Remember, God didn't just wake you up to exist. He woke you up to live out his purpose, to reflect his love and to show the world what it truly means to be his masterpiece. So let that truth guide your steps today, guide your decisions and fill your heart with courage. Go out and live like you believe it. Amen. All right, family, let us carry this understanding forward, living as holy and acceptable vessels unto God. All right. That's our time for today, family. And before you go, remember to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you never miss an update. Join our community and stay connected for more inspiring content. If you'd like to consider donating to our ministry, just know that your contribution helps us to reach more souls and to continue bringing you more inspiring content. Also, don't forget to share this broadcast with your friends and loved ones. Together, we can make a difference. Be intentional. Live on purpose for God's purpose. All right, family. Until next time, walk good, do good, be good. Tornado, I'm out. To the sunrise glow First light reflections Here we go Tori uses God's wisdom To guide us every day Self-discovery on the way mm -hmm. Reflect, reset, be